Welcome back to the Conference USA Tip-Off Show. I'm John Shripp, and we are pleased to be joined by FIU women's basketball head coach, Jessica burks Wiley. And coach, thanks so much for joining us here. You enter your third season. I'd love to know kind of from where you started from, from where you took this program over to how you feel like the progress has gone so far heading into your third season. Well, first, thank you so much for having me. Um, I'm ecstatic about the progress that our program has been able to make. You know, when we first got here, the program had been in a bit of a dark spot for a bit, but I think, you know, this is a program that is used to being a women's basketball dynasty. So I'm super excited that we've been able to, you know, ultimately right the ship and get the program back on the right track. You have a very unique setup. You are coaching with your husband. Dan Went is actually one of your assistant coaches. Tell me about that dynamic and how that goes on an everyday basis. It's actually been really great. You know, um, most people coming into it were a little bit worrisome, like, oh, man, you know, husband and wife on the same staff, you know, you expect a lot of clashing. But for us, it's actually been great. You know, this is obviously my first head coaching job um, and, you know, to come into a rebuild. You know, you have some really tough lows, but you also have some really incredible highs. And so to be able to go through both of those, you know, equally with my husband, you know, my you know, most trusted confidant right by my side. Um, it's been a really great journey having him right there. When you guys go home, how much basketball do you talk? Is there, are you able to kind of shut it down at some point? Honestly, no, but that's why, you know, that's why we got married. You know, neither of us is able to really shift gears, but you know, that's what makes it work too. Nice, nice. Okay, so let's dig into your team a little bit. You're picked to finish 10th so far in this preseason poll. I'm sure you can use that as motivation. How do you feel like the ladies look so far? I'm really excited about how we're looking right now. Um, we got some new additions coming in, you know, in the off season that have done a great job of just carving out, you know, identity for themselves within this team. But the players that we have returning have also done a great job of, you know, taking the baton and helping keep moving our program forward. You have three starters returning, and we're hearing that from so many schools from across the country. A lot of people are using the transfer portal, a lot of incoming freshmen. How have your starters helped the newcomers transition? They've done a tremendous job, not just on the court, but off the court as far as, you know, our culture, our standards and our expectations and helping that to continually get set in stone. But on the court, they've done a great job of helping everybody blend together and understanding that, you know, it takes all of us for us to be great. And so they've done a great job of welcoming our newcomers. From the preseason practices and the workouts you've seen so far, what do you think is the strength of this year's team? I would say our versatility. You know, we have quite a few kids that can play multiple positions within our system, which is, you know, obviously very up tempo. So to be able to have that versatility across the board, I think is going to be able to pay great dividends for us. With that up tempo system, how did that develop and what do you see, what do you want it to develop into now in your third season? Uh, well, it definitely came from just, you know, personally, you know, the multiple stops I've been able to be, have the fortune of over my coaching career of kind of, you know, putting those different things together. But definitely from my time as a player, I loved playing up tempo, you know, whether it was at the college level, playing up tempo at the pro level. So once I had the fortune of being able to take over my own program and to really put my own spin on it, um, I'm really excited about the direction it's going. You know, uh, year one to year two to now into year three is continually building and getting stronger. So I'm excited to see and debut it in year three. Are there any players so far of the newcomers that have come in who you've really been excited about who you feel like can really flourish in that new system? Honestly, I'm sure every head coach says this, but all of them, you know, I'm really, really thrilled about all of our newcomers. They all are incredibly different um, on and off the court. They bring some incredible personalities that have been such a good mix. But on the court, they have just elevated our program to the next step. So I'm really excited about all the contributions they're going to be able to make this year. What kind of goals have you set for this year's team? What kind of expectations are out there? The biggest expectations we set within our program is that, you know, our biggest competition is us. You know, I know you mentioned obviously where we were selected in the preseason polls, but for us since day one of, you know, us getting here, that's just never been a focal point for us. It's just coming in every single day and making sure that we were better than the day before and the day before that. So that for us is making sure we continually and consistently move the needle forward for our program. All right, let's talk schedule. A lot of people love this part of the program. Tell me about the early non-conference battles and then in-conference play. Give me some games you want to highlight. Um, well, we're really lucky we're going to be able to get Florida Gulf Coast at our home court this year. Um, I think to be able to measure yourself up against a program like that is always a great opportunity. You know, 
Carl's done a phenomenal job there, you know, two plus decades of building, you know, FGCU into this really, really great powerhouse as far as women's basketball. So I'm really looking forward to that matchup for our program to, you know, see where we stack up against, you know, one of the best teams in the country. Um, and then in conference, honestly, every CUSA game is a battle, you know, so there isn't one that I probably look forward to most than others. I'm actually just excited to be able to get to conference play and be able to show people all the work that we've been putting in. We can't wait to see it. Third year head coach for FIU, Jessica Burks Wiley. Good luck this upcoming season. Thank you so much. Coming up, we're going to stick with FIU. We're going to talk to the men's coach, Jeremy Ballard. We're back here on the Conference USA tip off show. I'm John Schriffen, joined by FIU men's basketball head coach, Jeremy Ballard. Coach, Appreciate you spending some time with us. All right, I got to get into your philosophy because clearly you like to let it fly. Your guys set a record for the school, 308 three-pointers made last season. How did you develop that style? Yeah, just um, it, it's a great question. Uh, I, I think through I was 14 years an assist, as an assistant coach, and, and um, you know, I, I had a distinct – vision of how we wanted to play and uh you know we wanted to be a aggressive on both ends of the court um you know we s certainly wanted to be analytically sound in the way we approach the offensive side of the ball so i believe we probably set a record for three-point attempts and makes every year that, that we've been here um in our first four years and i believe we were second in three-point makes one of the years that we've been here so um, you know, we, we certainly want to play fast and shoot a lot of three balls and try to get a lot of layups and dunks. And uh, we, we didn't do enough of that last year, and we're, we're certainly hoping to do more of that this upcoming season. In your fifth season now, entering as the head coach, how much does analytics play into your coaching style, and how do you incorporate that on an everyday basis? Yeah, I mean, it's really governed how I've looked at basketball. You know, it's it's you know it's not going to dominate all of my thoughts, but we certainly want to make sure everything that we do as a program is coming from a sound place. And um, I certainly believe in analytics. Um, I believe in players more, but um, the, the way that we play certainly has an uh, you know an analytic theme, and you know we we want to get you know our order operations uh, on the offensive end is you know we, we want to get a layup and a, a layup or dunk first, um, and, and and second we want to get a you know a good catch and shoot three, uh, and, and then third would obviously be you know get, getting to the foul line. So um, you know we certainly think about those things. It's not something we necessarily bog down with our guys um but but it it, it you know governs um the decisions we make and in our style of play okay nice let's dig into the guys you got coming back you got one starter returning seven foot one center seth pinkney it's easy probably to build around a seven foot one guy but tell me about his growth and what you need to see from him this season yeah, Seth did a lot of really good things for us last season in, in his first year in our program. Um, he, he certainly improved a lot. He's gotten stronger. He's in better shape. Uh, he, he's spent more time in the gym. Um, he also has great IQ for, you know, a seven foot one guy with a seven foot eight wingspan. Like, he truly understands what we're trying to accomplish on the offensive end. He understands our defensive system as well. So, so we're really looking forward. Um, to him having a big jump this year. But uh, we also returned Denver Jones, who was essentially a six starter last year. Um, you know, he played starter minutes and certainly finished all of our games. And and um, I, I truly believe he's going to make a huge jump this year and, and a, he's an all-conference player in my mind. So Denver Jones moves now into the starting lineup. How does he make that jump being last year's leading scorer? Yeah, it, it will be an easy jump for him. I mean, he, like I said, he, he was a six starter for us last year um, and, and put up really good numbers. You know, uh, the, the league kind of changed how they viewed freshmen last year. But, you know, if he had been deemed a freshman, which is what he was in, in terms of eligibility, he'd have been a freshman of the year last year. And um, he, he's improved a lot during this offseason. I think he's going to be more efficient shooting the basketball. Um, he's going to be better, e even better at creating and taking care of the ball. And, and uh, I, I think people will be very excited about his play this year. Nine newcomers on this team. Who are some names we should know about who are going to play a key role? Yeah, so, you know, we have a um – we brought a good mix in, in terms of the guys that we signed. We signed three grad transfers that 
guys that have all are at least in their fifth year. So very experienced grad transfers. Two guys from the America East, uh, Nick Guadahara from uh, New Hampshire, Austin Williams from Hartford. The, both of these guys were all conference players in the America East. So anytime you can add all conference players to your team, um, that, you know, that, that's a huge boost to your program. And then John Williams is a Division II transfer, grad transfer who was second in the nation in scoring last year. So um, all three of those guys ha have certainly given us, a, you know, a, a kind of an adrenaline shot to our program, have brought leadership and experience to w what we do on a, on a daily basis. And uh, we're really excited about them for this year. And, and then we signed uh, four, four freshmen. And that, that probably equals the amount of freshmen that I signed total in my first four years altogether. So, uh, but w w we're really excited about these guys. Two of them, um, Ar Arturo Dean and Deshaun Giddens, were prep school teammates at Putnam Science Academy where they went 38-0 and won a national championship and what's the best high school basketball league in the country. So, that you know, they bring a winning mentality and an edge that not a lot of freshmen come with. Um, and, and then uh, Jaden Brewer and uh, Darion are, are uh, you know, two freshmen that have very high upsides. And all, all four of those guys ha have really uh, exceeded my expectations so thus far. Nice. All right, real quickly with the time we have left, let's take uh, take a look at your schedule. Walk me through it and tell me kind of what the expectations are for this year's team. Yeah, you know, our expectations, you know, we're, uh, uh, you know, are, are mostly internal. I, I know that externally, uh, you know, the, the expectations aren't very high and that's fuel to our fire. You know, we, we've been picked uh, second to last and I saw the voting totals. We, we were almost picked in last place. Um, and, and so that's that's good. We're, we're good with that. The, the 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 only standings that matter to us are the ones at the end of the year. And we, we want to make sure that um, you know we have the best finish that we, that we've had since we've been here. And and we do feel that we have the the tools to do that. Jeremy Ballard, head coach for the FIU Panthers, excited to spend some time with you. Looking forward to getting the season started. Thank you. Yes, sir. Thank you, John.